Mercury glass is basically um, clear glass that has a, a silver patina put on it. And in this particular case, the silver has been applied to the outside of it. And many times it has this um, imprinted pattern on it. Um, I think it's really lovely. It reminds me of um, lace and um, times gone by. It's just really nice. So because um, this particular vessel is fairly shallow, we're going to have a harder time filling this um, volume of it with short stems. They're naturally, if you were to just start with this right now, similar to your teacup question, um, if you were going to start putting um, flower stems in here, they're going to just topple right out because they're going to be too heavy in comparison to their shorter stem. So we're going to create um, a grid using tape on here that's going to help keep our, um, our stems in place. You could also use floral frogs, which we talked about before. Um, I don't use those as much in my event work, mostly because uh, they're rather expensive individually and um, they wouldn't necessarily come back to me. So this is a really great way to, um, to create this look. You can use regular um, a skinny scotch tape um, it, that you wouldn't you know, commonly have at home. Today we're going to show you floral tape. Um, which is a little more sticky than probably a typical scotch tape. They just come out, or I've just noticed, maybe that's the correct way to say it, um, clear tape now, which is perfect for what we're using today because um, typical floral tape is this green color. And when you have a lighter or even a clear vase, you're going to see your edges of where the tape is. So I'm going to have you guys use the clear tape. But for um, viewing purposes, I'm going to create my grid with the green so that our audience can see it better, um, even though you'll see a few of my tape lines um, showing up. So we're going to do this with no water in the vase at first, because you might end up tipping as you're putting your tape on and stuff, and we'll add the water afterwards. So I'm basically, I'll show you how I'm going to start it, and then you guys can start in with me. I'm going to um, start my tape line, and I'm going to start on the edge directly across from me, and probably just put it you know, not even a half inch. I'm, it won't matter as much for you guys because you have clear tape, but you don't need to do a really long um, edge that you're on the vessel itself. So I'm going to just push it down with my finger and then I'm going to pull it directly across from me and anchor it on the other side and then just cut that. This tape doesn't um, especially tear well, so you're going to need some scissors. So now I've got one, one lead line and with a few edges on it. And I'm going to do three lines going this direction and then rotate it and do three more. And that'll be like a tic-tac-toe board kind of. So I'm going to do one over here. And I think for this size vessel, this is probably good enough um, amount of, of um, tape lines. You're going to want to have, you know, you, want, you still need to have room for your, um, your stems to fit in. So you don't want to have too many grids. But you do um, want to have enough to, to hold them in also. So now I've got three, and this side's probably done. Looks like you guys are pretty similar. So now I'm going to rotate mine and do the same pattern. I'll do one down the center. Going right over the top of the other ones and make sure they all touch so they're stuck together. that and then two more over one on either side oops now I would think um, I would think scotch tape would probably do okay with this it might not be as sticky so you might have to press a little harder to make sure your tape is staying but you can also get this tape I've seen it at um, craft stores like I know locally around here like Hobby Lobby and Joann's and those kinds of stores have um, Michael's have um, a floral, a small floral department, and you'll find some of these tools there. So that's definitely possible. You can order them online from places like Save on Crafts and those kinds of deals too. So, um, so it's definitely um, you don't have to buy this from a floral supplier store. It's it's a possible. Okay, so I have my grid here now, and it looks like it's pretty similar to you all's. And I have um, my. My squares are probably about an inch, maybe a little bigger, but that's probably good enough. You, you could do more stripes, but I think this is probably fine.